Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Jenny Motion on uh, your Ubuntu operating system. To install Jenny Motion, first of all you need to install VirtualBox because Jenny Motion uses uh, VirtualBox to run its emulator. So let's first install VirtualBox and then we will uh, install Jenny Motion. So open your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a virtual machine on which you can run different operating systems. So here when you search for VirtualBox, the first link most probably will be www.virtualbox.org. Uh, Just click this link here. And in this link, you will be able to find the download section. So just click this download section or download button here. And what we want is the Linux uh, host version. So just choose VirtualBox 4.3.24, which is the latest version at the time of this making this video for Linux host. And uh, here you will be able to see different options. I'm going to choose the first option, which is uh, for the latest version of uh, Ubuntu. And I'm going to choose AMD64, which is recommended for 64 bit kernel. So I'm going to click this AMD 64 and I'm going to save this. And it's going to download this .deb file or .deb file, which we can run using, uh, you know, as a executable file using our Ubuntu software center. So once your down, if your download completes, you can go to your downloads folder here and you can see this uh, virtualbox.deb file. In order to install this, you just need to right click and just open with Ubuntu Software Center. So right click and open with Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, it's going to open your uh, dot dev file in Ubuntu Software Center. Now in here you can just click this install button to install this uh, VirtualBox 4.3. So just click install and it's going to install VirtualBox on your system. While this is uh, installing, what we can do is we can also download Jenny Motion from uh, its website. So let's uh, uh, leave this process right now and let it uh, run. And let's install Jenny Motion also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my web browser once again and search for Jenny Motion. And the first link will be from JennyMotion.com. Just click this link. And to get Jenny Motion, uh, here it's asking me uh, for my password while installing VirtualBox. So I will just authenticate and in here I will go down and I will search for get Jenny motion. Okay. And you can see there are two uh, variants available. One is free one for business. Right now we will install the free version of uh, Jenny motion. So just click this download button here. And we are on a Linux operating system and uh, the website recognizes uh, that we are on a Linux operating system. So it automatically selects Linux for us. And now depending upon the version or the type of, uh, you know, your Ubuntu operating system, uh, if, if it's 64 bit or it's uh, 32 bits. Depending upon that, you can install uh, these files, 
which are binary files. So in my case, my uh, operating system type is 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to just click 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, just select 32-bit. So just click this. And to download Jenny Motion, you need to create or you need to have Jenny Motion account. If you don't have, you can just uh, create one. It's really easy. And if you have already a Jenny Motion account, you just need to give your username and password. And just sign in. And now the, you know, download will start. So just save this file. This is a dot bin file, binary file. And it's not, not a big file. It's relatively small. So it will uh, be downloaded in few seconds. Let's see what's happening with our virtual box. So now virtual box is installed in my system. You can see uh, it's showing installed and whenever you want, you can uh, reinstall or uninstall virtual box. Also, you will be able to see uh, some button here to reinstall or uninstall. So virtual box is installed. So we will just minimize this. And now in order to install Jenny motion, what we need to do is we need to open terminal and using this terminal we will uh, browse this downloads folder where our jenny motion 2.4.0 dot bin file is okay so in the terminal i will search for uh, this folder download so cd jenny motion First of all, uh, CD download. And in here, we can see Jenny Motion uh, binary file is there. So we will just, uh, first of all, make it executable. So we will provide some uh, permissions. So just write chmod plus x, which is uh, for executable. And just uh, copy and paste this Jenny motion uh, minus 2.4.0 underscore x 64 dot bin. Okay. So what this will do is this is going to make your uh, Jenny motion dot bin file to the executable file. And now we can run this file as a normal executable file. So what you need to do is just write dot slash and then G and press tab which is the option for autocomplete in ubuntu so we are going to run this uh, executable file now okay so just give dot slash and the name of your jenny motion binary file and press press enter and it's going to ask for the permission where it's going to be installed and this is in the same folder download folder uh, itself so i'm going to say yes and in some uh, seconds, these uh, files will be extracted and then Jenny Motion will be installed once this process is complete. So now the process is complete. It's not a lengthy process. So you can see installation done successfully. You can uh, now use uh, these tools from this downloads slash Jenny motion folder. One is the Jenny motion and second is the Jenny motion shell. So we are going to go to uh, our download folder and here we can see uh, it has created a new folder for us, Jenny motion. We will go inside this and in here you will be able to see this executable file, which is Jenny motion executable file. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let me make this folder a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I will select this Jenny motion executable file and double click it. Okay. So just select this Jenny motion and double click it. 
and it's going to start Jenny motion. I'll minimize everything else. And for the first time, whenever you start Jenny motion on Ubuntu, uh, it will ask, do you have any virtual device yet? So right now we don't have any uh, virtual device. So do you want to add a new one? Yes, we want to add a new virtual device. So we will just click yes. And in order to add a virtual device, you need to sign in with your credentials once again in Jenny Motion. So just sign it once again. And now you can see all the, you know, devices, virtual devices, which you can run in Jenny Motion. So select one of them. For example, I'm going to select this uh, Moto, Motorola Moto or uh, some other, other uh, you know, virtual device you can select whatever you want. For example, I can uh, uh, install this Google Nexus 7 4.4.4 .4 API with 19 uh, here. Okay, so select, I'm going to select this and I'm going to click next and it's going to give all the specification of your virtual device click next and now it's going to install uh, this virtual device on ubuntu so uh, i will let this process to go on and uh, reach this progress bar 200 and once this is done uh, we are going to run our virtual device so now the installation of uh, this virtual device on Jenny Motion is complete. So we can just click finish. And now we can run this virtual device on Jenny Motion. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select my virtual device and I'm going to run or start this. But before that, let's uh, check the configuration. So just click this uh, tool here small tool and in here you can change the configuration of your virtual device for example right now it's using four processors and one gb of uh, memory for example if you want to change it to use one processor and uh, some uh, different uh, amount of memory you can change it from here and for now i'm going to uh, run it with only one processor uh, and I will click OK and now I'm going to run this. So I will just click start and it's going to initialize this virtual device and uh, run it. So now my virtual device is running and I can just click OK and I can set up uh, this uh, virtual device according to myself as an Android device and you can see I can navigate different menus as I can uh, navigate in Androids like this. Okay, so just touch and you can just select any uh, item from here. So in this way you can install uh, Journey Motion on uh, your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.